On day one, I woke up and was trapped in a creeper prison and noticed several redstone torches placed above me. What is this place? You have 24 hours to escape from the creeper prison. But this bedrock, it's impossible. What I just heard caught me off guard. So I looked around and saw a lever next to some iron blocks. Ah, here it is. I hit the lever and nothing happened. So I looked back to see if there was another way to make this work. Hey, what gives? I then looked at the redstone torches, broke one and placed it near the doors, but still nothing happened. It can't be that easy. Let's try this again. I then broke another torch and a block opened. So I found the other torch to break and finally solved it. Ugh, oh, that's all done. Hopefully this isn't the whole episode. I finished that part of the puzzle, and in the next room, I found this strange device. On it was this super cool game where you team up with other players in PvE boss battles or fight in global PvP matches for glory and prestige. Of course, it was Raid Shadow Legends. Use my QR code or links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. For Raid's third year anniversary, I decided to make a top three list of the most awesomest champions in the entire game. Number three is Jintoro. He is like the samurai of my nightmares. Next is Necret the Great. I mean, just look at him. Need I say more? And my number one champion is Shamrock. Sorry, I just had to go with the funniest champion around. What's great about Raid is it's constantly getting updated. This month, they will have a new Forge Pass Season 3 with great rewards, like a limited edition artifact set and some new skins for champions like Madame Cerise. The fan favorite champion, Death Knight, is getting a legendary makeover. Literally, he's becoming a legendary champion, Ultimate Death Knight. New players who use my link or scan the QR code get a free starter set worth almost $30 and a free champion, Aina, as well as this cool in-game loot. You'll find your rewards in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Thanks, Raid, for sponsoring this video. Now, I've got to get back to escaping this prison. Out of nowhere, a swarm of creepers began to converge onto me. I had nothing to defend myself against them. You want some of these fists? Aya! I tried to punch the exploding fiends, but I had to run around them and hope they exploded if I wanted to survive. Come on, last one. Just explode already. Yes, I did it. I finally made it to the finish line and continued to look for my way out. On day two, I made it to a large open area with tall walls made of bedrock and a glass ceiling. What kind of prison is this? I saw grass blocks and a chest in the center. I went up to the chest and just as I was about to open it, I heard the same voice again. Welcome, I am the puppet master and you are my first contestant. Bring it on. I looked up and saw a man in a mask looking down at me from a window. You'll have 100 days to escape this prison. You wouldn't believe the things I can do in a hundred days. Well then, make yourself at home. You'll be here for a while. I immediately went to chop down some trees to make some tools. Once I made a pickaxe and a hoe, I started replanting the trees and then began building a little hut. This little home will keep me safe for now. As I explored the area, I found two sheep spawns in the chests. So I spawned them and killed the sheep for food. I gotta make sure my energy levels are on point if I wanna solve this puzzle. I then used the sheep's wool to make a bed and lay down to get some rest. Tomorrow is gonna be a big day. On day three, I woke up in a new puzzle, confused on how I even got here. This is such a weird place. You'll come to love puzzles by the end of the 100 days. Oh, you bet I will. This can't be that hard. He then told me I had to complete this obstacle course to continue. That's all I have to do? Easy. I'm a parkour pro. Don't get too ahead of yourself. There's a catch. You'll be racing against this old farmer. What? Where am I? This ain't the big city. Three. Two, one, go! I started the race against the farmer and they started running super fast. Ah, I need to catch up. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna win. I then went through the slime blocks onto the glass maze. And after some time, I found my way through the maze into a new area. This place is so confusing. I better not get lost here. I then made it to a horse race section and found a chest filled with several goods. Forget using a horse. I'm better off on my feet anyways. As I went through the course, I realized I did need a horse to get through, but I used my wooden planks I made from earlier to cheat the system. Ha ha, take that puppet loser. Once I made it to level four, it 
It was a mini lava obstacle course that I finished pretty quickly. All right, that wasn't too bad, but really hot. Once I made it to level five, I arrived at a pig race and found pig eggs and a saddle along with a carrot on a stick. Oh man, this one is tough. I struggled a bit, but eventually made it to the last level, which was a rod parkour area where I had to jump on some thin rods. Oh man, I hope I don't fall. I began jumping and I stopped on a rod to look over at the farmer. Oh boy, my knees ain't built for this. I then saw the farmer jump and fall to his death. No! Oh, nothing I can do now but continue this crazy game. I slowly made my way to the end and opened the chest. Ah, some coal. After I picked up the coal, I immediately teleported back into the main room. It was now days four and five, and I was back at my base of operations. You killed that farmer. Why? Me? He killed himself, my boy. I gave him all the tools he needed to succeed. It's not my fault he couldn't use them. I could feel the puppet master's callous, uncaring gaze from behind his mask. You're crazy. I'm going to stop all of this. You won't make me out of here. <laughs> also, there's something useful below you. Bye-bye now. Wait! The puppet master turned and left. So I made a shovel. I tried digging down to find a way to escape, but then hit some bedrock. So I couldn't keep digging. There has to be another way. But this stone will do nicely. My plan wasn't working. So I got back up and made some stone tools, such as a pickaxe, axe, and a sword. I then made some furnaces and chopped down more wood to make a chest. All right, I can store some useful things here. I was getting hungry after all the digging I had done. So I cooked some of the meat that I had gotten from the sheep and had a good meal. Ugh, I'm getting sleepy. Before I went to bed, I made a door for the base and then had a good night's rest. On day six, I woke up in a wide open field. Wait a minute, am I actually free or is this all a dream? I was so happy to be done with all this chaos. And then suddenly I noticed the puppet master behind me. You better stay back. You're really enjoying this, aren't you? Why are you here? What do you want from me? It's simple. I want to watch you struggle as you find your way out. Just pure entertainment. What do you mean a way out? I'm already free, you dumb dumb. Oh, really? What if I told you this was all a dream? I started getting really upset and wanted to put an end to this once and for all. I'm going to kill you by the end of all this madness. Well, I want to see you try. Wake up. He then snapped his fingers and I felt myself being transported to a new area. On day seven through nine, I woke up in a new area and started looking around to see what this place was about. This seems like some kind of a boat race. I then noticed that there was a general inside of one of the boats. Hey son, fancy seeing you here. You ready to race? Wait, what are you doing here? How'd you get out of the zombie apocalypse? You know, I could ask you the same question. No, I died in that video. The general then told me that he had signed up for this game to win one million dollars what i didn't know there was a money prize at the end of this what is this squid game there isn't any prize money general how many times do i have to tell you this old man ah, i knew this was a scam whatever i'm ready for this scam or not i'm gonna win three two one go after counting us down, the puppet master disappeared and I saw the general book it. So I ran for the closest boat and headed through the course. I started passing the general who was getting stuck through the dangerous ice. Ha <laughs> ha, you slow poke. I need the money. There is no money. I kept going as fast as I could, leaving the general behind. I jumped off steep cliffs and down super scary waterfalls and eventually won the race. Good race, boy. Hope you use that money wisely. Maybe an invested or something. As soon as the general congratulated me, he died out of nowhere. General, no! Just then, the puppet master showed up and told me I had won the race. Well done. You get to live another day. Here you go. He then gave me some wheat and a water bucket as a prize. And I'd like to reiterate one last time. There is no money prize. We're a tight budget here. Uh, okay. Thanks, I guess. On days 10 through 12, I finally made it back to the main room. Ugh, this feels like a loophole. I then figured out that every time I went to bed, I was transported into a new puzzle room. This is crazy. I'm gonna rebel and not go to bed, no matter how long it takes, you fool. Ah, uh, suit yourself. The puppet master then walked away. I then checked the chest again and found that I had three cow spawn eggs. So I took them and started doing some building. Nice. I need a pen for my new cows. I built a pen and then spawned the cows inside of their new home. 
After I got done with the cows, I started making a farm and used the wheat and bucket of water to make it. Is it just me or does something smell funny? Before I knew it, the air started making me feel dizzy and then I passed out. On days 13 through 16, I woke up and noticed the puppet master was right next to me. Hey, why did you use that stupid gas on me? It's all part of the game. Your game is lame. I can do whatever I wanted to. <laughs> I don't care what you throw at me. I'll always win. Let's see about that. Good luck doing this one. The puppet master then left, and I noticed it was a maze. Well, this is great. Ugh. I started heading through the maze and got lost pretty quickly. I don't even know where I am anymore. As I went through the maze, I found some spiders, and they immediately started attacking me. Ah, take that, you weirdos. I also had a fight against zombies, so I used my sword and continued through the maze once I had killed them all. Whew. I better keep my eyes peeled. There's probably other critters in here. Just then, some skeletons came out of another corner and shot arrows at me. But luckily, I was on guard and fought them off. Okay, let's keep moving. On days 17 through 20, I continued through the maze and felt exhausted now that it had been days with me still being lost. I'm so tired of this. This game is insane. I kept moving and felt my body grow weaker as I hadn't been getting any sleep. Then, some zombies appeared which gave me adrenaline, and I needed to fight them off and keep moving. Ah, stay away, you creeps. You're going to die again. I then hid in a corner while the zombies wandered around and was able to get away from them. This is it. I've made it. Just as I thought I was almost to the end of the maze, a bunch of minion creepers appeared. Minion creepers? Aw, oh, man. Instead of trying to fight them, I let them explode, helping me get through the maze quicker. Is this cheating? Nah. At the end of the maze, there was a full set of iron armor waiting for me, as well as some food. Hmm, what is this for? I saw some cooked mutton inside of the chest, and I couldn't wait to eat it after feeling starved for so many days. All right, let's put this on. I then put on my full iron armor set and immediately vanished from the maze. On days 21 through 23, I was back in the main room, but this time there was a giant monster waiting for me. Oh man, this is gonna be one tough opponent, that's for sure. Say hello to your new friend. You must fight against him. You're ready? Always ready. We began the battle and the beast started summoning spikes from the ground that hit me really hard. Ah, I need a better weapon for this. Just then, I noticed there was an amazing weapon on an item frame. So I quickly went to grab it so I could use it against them. Ah, a soul conqueror. Nice. The weapon came with 34 arrows and I also noticed it was already worn down, but I still grabbed the item and immediately used them to fight. Take this, you monster. Just then, my weapon been broke so i pulled out my sword to continue fighting die you crazy beast the monster continued using their powers against me but luckily with just a few more hits with my stone sword i was able to kill him another victory now go get some food from the chest and rest up if you don't sleep well you know what will happen <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I felt confident now that I was getting more successful during my battles, which led me to think I would conquer the game pretty soon. I then ate some of the food and went to sleep. On days 24 through 28, I woke up in my room, but something was different this time. This room feels a lot bigger than it used to be. This time around, there was silence and everything felt a bit more calm. What's the big deal? No challenge today? Wrong. I do have a challenge for you. Today, you must build a statue of yourself. And how am I going to build it without any materials? Everything you need is hidden inside your own room. Think of it as a treasure hunt. He then told me that I had to complete the legs in one hour, or else I was going to die. So I quickly got to work. I began by looking for the blocks everywhere around the base. Uh, I can't find any. I was running out of time and couldn't seem to find any materials around the area. But just when I thought all hope was lost, I remember he said, think of it as a treasure hunt. Duh, it's somewhere in the ground. I began making holes all over the base, as if I was Shia LaBeouf. Eventually, I found the chest with all the materials I needed. Okay, let's see what we have here. Some blue and brown blocks. I took the materials with me and then started building the legs of the statue. Ah, I'm almost out of time. I gotta work faster. Just then, I finished placing the last block with just one second left on the timer. I did it. 
Is that enough for you? For now, just be ready for the next puzzle. After all that building, I felt so exhausted and needed to get some rest if I wanted to be ready for the next challenge. So I finally went to bed. For the days of 29 through 33, I woke up in a new area and noticed that Steve was right next to me. Oh, hey, Steve. What are you doing here? I don't even know why I'm here. Do you know anything about this? Honestly, I have no idea. Just then, the puppet master showed up and explained our next race against each other. This challenge will require both players to work together. We began the race and helped each other out by jumping on colorful blocks that allowed us to make our way through the area. Throughout the game, we had to do some sprinting and taking turns leading while the other would solve the puzzles. We then finally made it to the end and started cheering from all of our hard work. Too easy! Don't get too ahead of yourselves. You must now go through the tunnel. Steve and I then went inside of the tunnel, which took us to another room. On days 34 through 37, we finished going through the tunnel and entered a coliseum. Okay, now what? You two must fight to the death. No, are you serious? What? You're a madman. This was no joke. The puppet master wanted me to kill Steve, and I knew this was the only way of saving myself, so I had to do it. Good luck, old friend. I'm sorry for this. And Steve brought out a diamond sword. Whoa, hold on. How did you get that? Mining. We then walked to the opposite side of the Colosseum and prepared ourselves. I threw on my armor and got ready for battle. Then we charged. We started hitting each other with our swords and then Steve pulled out an electro bow and started shooting arrows that electrocuted me. Ugh, take that, Steve. I went towards him with all my strength and gave Steve one last hit, which eventually killed him. Ugh, why does it have to be like this? As soon as I killed Steve, the game ended, and I was vanished away once more. On days 38 through 40, I woke up feeling exhausted after the fight, and the puppet master told me the next steps I had to do. Inside one of the chests are some iron tools for you. I then headed towards the chest and picked up a sword, an axe, and a pickaxe. What are these for? You'll be needing the sword. Your opponent is waiting for you. Needing? Just as I was asking him a question, a giant beast entered my base. Whoa, what the heck? Good luck with that. <laughs> Okay, big guy, it's time to fight. The monster could set me on fire with every hit I took. Luckily, I had my new iron sword to defend myself. I'm gonna destroy you with this. I hit the beast several times, but noticed that nothing was killing it. Ugh, this isn't good enough. I knew I was about to die and immediately started regretting everything I had done. Steve, I'm so sorry for what I did. I didn't want it to end like this. Suddenly, the monster died, leaving me very confused about what just happened. Wait, what? I didn't do this. You know, it takes a lot to say sorry. Well done. Are you kidding me? This whole thing was a simple sorry? Well, it means a lot to me. I'm sick of your twisted ideas. I'm ready for the next puzzle so I can get out of here already. Good night. I had enough of his stupid games and I knew I needed as much rest as possible. So I headed into my room and went back to bed. For days 41 to 43, I woke up and the entire base was gone. Why is it just me in my bed? Where is all my stuff? Just then, the puppet master told me I had to make a new one. This base is lame. You better make one just as good as the one Maxcraft makes. Whoa, okay, hold on. That hurts. He was really getting on my nerves. So I left him and started chopping down trees of all types. He wants a better base? Let's give him a better base then. I then started the foundation of the house with a living room, bedroom, and a kitchen. All right, this will make for a nice living space. I then made some torches, and just as I was about to start placing them, the puppet master threw iron nuggets at me. Ouch! What are you doing? No torches. Make something cooler. Fine, you crazy. He wanted something better than torches. So I made some lanterns. And honestly, they looked really good. Once I finished up working on the base, I made sure to get his approval. Finally. You like it or what? I'm pleased with your work. But... But what? I worked so hard. Honestly, you could have done better. Ah, whatever. I'm done for the day. As tired as I was, there was no way of satisfying the puppet master. So I went inside of my home and relaxed for the night. On days 44 through 49, I woke up with the puppet master watching me, waiting for the next puzzle to begin. You're always staring at me like a creep. It's time to wake up. 
Welcome to the next test. This is gonna be a long one. Apparently, this puzzle would take days to finish, so I knew I needed to prepare myself in order to survive the test. Surely it'll take you a while, so good luck. Watch and see. I will finish this in no time. Very determined. I like it. At first, I felt very confused about where to go. All I could see was trees and a sign not too far away, which told me to turn back. So I took a look around my perimeter. I guess that was the first stage of this puzzle. Let's keep moving. I then made it to stage two and started running through the obstacle course, which led me to a tree dive section where I had to make a big jump. Here we go. I landed in a pool of water and made my way to the next area where I had to be precise with my jumps or else I would fall into a deep pit below. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. I then ended up in a scary hallway that was very dark and led me to stage five where I had to get across a maze. I could go east. Yeah, that seems right. As I went through the different stages, I had to jump through several parkour elements and look at the signs to figure out where I was going. It says there's a couple more stages to go. Ugh, but I'm so tired already. I made a lot of progress and figured this would be a good stopping point. So I went to sleep in one of the resting areas of the maze. On days 50 through 53, I woke up in the same room and continued to work on the puzzle. All right, the sign says we're on stage eight. Let's go up these ladders. As I made my way up the ladders, I saw the lava beneath me and finally made my way into the astral observatory, which was now stage nine. I got this. I went across a blue broken spiral staircase. And once I finished jumping the blocks, I ended up in a colorful room that looked really groovy. Wait, this room is fun. Let's have a little dance, shall we? I stopped to do some dancing and let loose for a bit before I continued the rest of the puzzle. Oh yeah, we made it to another stage. I then jumped across some lily pads and walked through a room that shot arrows at me. Ouch, ooh, gotta move faster. I used the pressure plate, which helped me get through the next door. And I completed stage 15 by jumping from one tree to another, which were the hardest jumps I had to do so far. Oh, it's getting hot in here. I then walked through the edge of stage 17 where the halls were full of flames. So I had to be extra careful as I made my way across. Once I finished that part of the maze, I arrived in a snowy area that was filled with spider pigs. I could probably outrun these guys and keep moving. I booked it and went up the ladder, which led to the final part of the maze. Oh geez, that guy looks crazy. At the final part of the maze, there was a night walker who was ready to fight me. And once we began the fight, they gave me weakness. Okay, get ready to die. I put up a good fight against the Nightwalker, and after a couple of hits with my sword, I finally killed them! Yes! I did it! Ugh, this maze took forever! The Puppet Master showed up and congratulated me for finishing the longest puzzle yet. Ah, uh, well done. You took forever to complete it, but you did it! I feel like a puppet. I guess that's why they call you the Puppet Master. But this thing is never ending! Patience, my friend. That's all you need. You think you know everything, don't you? When is this gonna be over? You talk too much, bye bye. Suddenly, I felt some nausea coming in and felt myself being transported into a new place. For days 54 to 58, I had to continue working on this statue. All right, for this part, you're gonna work on the torso and you only have 30 minutes to complete it. 30 minutes? But I had an hour last time. I knew that if I wanted to survive, I had to put my building skills to the test and work as fast as possible. How do you expect me to finish it that fast? Better stop talking and start building. Where do I even find the materials? Keep your eyes peeled. They can be anywhere. I then started looking for the materials everywhere. But this time, I noticed there was an iron door that wasn't there before. Something doesn't look right. I entered the door and noticed that there was a chest inside of it with everything I needed. Nice. Some wool and terracotta. I then started adding the gray and white wool blocks in the right order to copy the figure of my torso. After some progress, I checked the time to see where I was at. Oh man, I only have a few minutes left. I then started speed running and finally finished the torso in the nick of time. Woo! Okay. Not too bad. Well done. It actually kind of looks like you. Here's a reward for all your efforts. Thanks for the gift, you big meanie. He then gave me some diamonds, which I used to make some diamond tools. Hey, I'm a diamond short. The last diamond is hidden beneath the ground. Have fun digging again. You monster. How could you do this? That tricky guy made me continue looking for the final diamond. So I kept digging and finally found it inside of a chest beneath some dirt. Aha. Now I can finish building my diamond sword. 
Alrighty, take the rest of the day off for whatever you want to do. I have some errands to run while you're at it. Errands? Okay, weirdo. On days 59 through 62, I was taking a shower and noticed that the puppet master was acting kind of strange and staring at me through the window. I must say, you really need a break, don't you? What? Yeah, I guess. You know what? I want you to chill out for today. You deserve it. He then gave me a hoe, some buckets of water, and crops. So what's this for? You can use a farm since your last one got destroyed. This time, I want you to make it bigger and better. I thought you wanted me to chill. This is still work. You better start moving before I change my mind. Ugh. I then started working on the farm to make it more grand than last time. I made it bigger and added all the new types of seeds that the Puppet Master gave me. As soon as I finished expanding the farm, the Puppet Master gave me some nice animals to add around it. I then built some pens and added the sheep, cows, and also had some free-range chickens around my base. Ooh, I'm getting kinda hungry. I then killed some of the animals and cooked their meat. Well, this is as good as it's gonna possibly get. Time for a feast. After having dinner, I went to bed, feeling a bit defeated. After all, I was still a person stuck inside a never-ending escape room prison, but I still had hope. For days 63 to 66, I woke up to a new challenge. This time, it was a race course with several different parts. Whoa, this one is kind of cool. The race was best of five, and I felt confident that I was going to win with all my awesome skills. I'm fast enough, I can do this. The race will have several challenges and it'll be split into three parts. I then noticed I had a race against my old pal, Jim, which reminded me of my experience with Steve. We got this, Bronzo. Oh no, not again. Why are you using my friends against me? Brace yourself. You'll need to focus hard if you want to get through this one. The race began, and Jim booked it. Ah, I need to catch up. That guy might look slow, but he's super fast. We climbed the ladders and made our way up to the top of the building, where we had to jump from one block to another and then jump in a pool of water. After we jumped out of the water, we set up our mine carts that were inside of the chest and began racing down the tracks, and Jim was extremely fast. Whoa, Jim, you're pretty good at this. Just then, Jim sped up and beat me on the first part of the race, which honestly made me kind of jealous. Oh yeah, I won. I'm way cooler than you, you slowpoke. What the heck? How are you so fast? All right, guys. Ready for the second part of the race? Yeah, I'm gonna beat you this time. Bring it on. After Jim jumped around with excitement, we headed towards the next area of the game. On day 67 through 70, we arrived at the second part of the race and received our instructions. You've come a long way. For this part, you guys will have to beat the clock. He then explained that we could go at separate times and whoever had the fastest time would win the course. I'm ready to destroy you, Jim. I looked over at Jim, who simply looked happy to be here. And since he wasn't paying much attention, I felt like I would win this one. Ah! I booked it and made my way through the course by jumping on different blocks and avoiding falling into the water. I then finished it in just a few minutes. And once my time was up, it was Jim's turn. Jim ran super fast, but avoided all the jumps, making his way through the course by walking around it and doing the least amount of effort as possible. Once Jim was done, the Puppet Master congratulated him for finishing faster than I did. Congrats, Jim. Just one more race and he'll win it all, Bronzo. Get ready to die. That's not fair. He just ran around the course. He didn't even follow the rules. I am speed. Kerchow! We then headed into the tunnel and made our way into the third part of the race. This one's one of my favorites. You'll have to jump between blocks and never get your way to the end. Be careful now. If you fall, you'll die. We began the third part of the race, which was a two-player obstacle course, and the blocks were really far apart, so I had to take calculated jumps to avoid falling. Jim was moving pretty fast, and I couldn't let him win, so I came up with a brilliant idea. Haha, <laughs> this will do the trick. I then pulled out some beef and threw it between our paths to get him distracted. Look, Jim, some beef. I'm getting hungry. If you don't eat that, I will. Oh, that looks tasty, but oh, I don't want to fall. Jim contemplated getting the food, but he then broke the glass and went for it. Five seconds rule, it's mine, I call dibs. Jim ah! then jumped for the food, but didn't make it, causing him to fall to his death. 
Goodbye, Jim. I made my way to the end and won since there was no other contestant. Oh yeah, my plan worked. But wait, I just killed Jim. Well, it's just you here, so I guess you win. The puppet master then rewarded me with a diamond helmet. And as I picked it up, I started to feel bad for what I had just done. Man, I wish I never tempted him. Poor guy. On day 71 through 74, I got back to the main room and expected some kind of fight to happen. It's surprisingly quiet around here. Anyone home? Just then, the puppet master had a surprise for me. Look around, Bronzo. I have something special for you. Don't mind if I do. I started looking inside of the chests and found the rest of my diamond armor to match my helmet. Huh, why is he giving me so many gifts? Even though I felt suspicious, I was too tired to deal with my thoughts. So I grabbed the armor and went to bed. Good night, world. It was the middle of the night, and suddenly I was woken up by the raider I had once fallen in love with. Wake up, loser. Whoa, it's really you. Wait, what are you doing? Good to see you. Ready to fight? She started attacking me with her two swords, and I knew I had no choice but to fight against her. I don't want to do this to you. I felt myself holding back during our fight, and then she told me why she was here in the first place. You better fight me, or else I'm going to get killed by that puppet freak. But I don't want to kill you. Just as she was about to go in for the kill, an explosive was shot at her, killing her right away. No! I felt devastated seeing my first love die right before my eyes. And I knew this was all part of that Puppet Master's stupid plan. I'm very disappointed. This was the most uneventful fight I've ever witnessed. I just had to end it. How could you do this? You're ruining my life. I'm gonna get you one day. I then watched him walk away in laughter while I stayed there in disbelief. For the days of 75 to 78, I woke up in my base with the puppet master complaining about how it looked. Tell you what, make this base look nicer, and once you finish, I'll judge it on a scale from 1 through 10. What? Not again? I just renovated it. The puppet master then told me to score an 8 or higher, or else I would die. I began looking for little ways to make the area look nicer. Okay, first, let's work on the landscape. Some plants will really elevate the space. I then found some paintings and put them up on my walls to add some color. Look at this fine art. He's gonna love this. After putting up some paintings, I replaced the floor with some quartz I had found lying around. Ooh, this looks fancy. All right, you're out of time. He then pondered for a moment and gave me a 7.5. What? No way. I deserve a higher rank. Um, no you don't. Time for you to die. He then unleashed a mutant zombie. Ah, you monster. Get out of my home. Just then, the monster spawned several zombies that started bombarding me. So I fought as many as I could, but I needed to come up with a better plan to kill the main beast. Luckily, the puppet master dropped a bow and arrow. So I grabbed the item and started shooting some arrows at them. I then brought out my diamond axe and sword and used them to stab the mutant zombie. Eventually, I shot a final arrow at the monster and finally killed him. And once he was dead, he dropped a whole hammer. Take that. To be fair, I was gonna release the monster even if he scored a perfect 10. That was way too entertaining. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. Goodbye now. After the long battle, I headed back in my room and rested for the night. On day 79 to 84, I woke up energized for another day of solving puzzles. All right, what's going down today? All right, Bronzo, time for some puzzles and trivia. I hope you've been studying. Your life is on the line. After I escape your little games, I will kill you. I got mentally prepared for the puzzles ahead and then entered the first room, which led to a room that had a pattern I needed to solve. I began by hitting all the buttons, which would move the redstone block that was underneath, allowing it to light up a path and trigger the next door to open. And then it led me to the next part of the puzzle. I then got a trivia question about saying hi in Swedish. Now how does he expect me to know Swedish? Whatever, I'm gonna go with this answer. Surprisingly, I got it right. And then noticed a sign saying to press a hidden button. Once I pressed it, I went around a blue maze that led me to a room full of trees, which I had to find a chiseled stone block and place my torch on it. I did it! Not too bad. As soon as I completed it, I felt the nausea coming in, but this time I knew what was coming. On days 85 through 89, I was back at the base and ready to get some answers from the puppet master. I need to know why you're doing all of this. What's the reason? It's kind of personal. Why do you want to know? Because I can't spend any more time being your little puppet. At least explain yourself. Well, let me tell you a little story. He then began telling me about his childhood. You see, ever since I was a little boy, 
it. I love solving puzzles, but my father called me a nerd for it. You're a disappointment. I want you out of my house. I hated my father. I couldn't even play at home. And then at school, I was bullied and known as the loner who only had puzzles as my friends. So I created a room, the room you're standing in now, to punish my enemies for what they did to me. Okay, and why am I here? See, you don't even care about my story. No, I do. It's very tragic and sad, but it doesn't make any sense. I never did anything to you. Why me? Well, someone has to pay. Might as well be you. You're crazy. You're right. I uh, am. Yeah. Good luck with my biggest and baddest creeper creation. I was then transported to a giant arena with a huge beast in the center. What the heck is that thing? Some sort of mutated creeper? I guess I am trapped in a giant creeper prison. So this makes sense. I didn't waste one second. I wanted this monstrosity out of here. The mutant creeper began summoning creepers and blowing everything up around me. So I had to dodge his explosions. Why don't you just drop and die already? Eventually, I brought out my bow and shot the beast finally killing it yes i did it well done you're stronger than i thought i'm not paying attention to you just send me back to my base i was tired not only physically but also mentally i was mostly tired of this puppet master's antics so when he did teleport me back to my base i was still super annoyed finally for the days of 90 through 93 the puppet master woke me up and rushed me out of bed to start working no time to waste get up now today you'll be working on the statue. Ah, uh, it's too early. I don't even have materials. Don't you worry, kid. I didn't feel like hiding them this time. So here you go. All right, I guess. You only have 15 minutes to finish this statue. Get moving. What? That's insane. Time is ticking. I couldn't waste more time, so I quickly got my materials ready and began working on the head of the statue, adding every final detail to finish it off. All right, I think we're just about done once I add this part. I then added some brown terracotta for the hair and some purple wool, which matched my eyes perfectly. Nice. This looks exactly like me. It's kind of scary. Oh, wow, you're right. It looks even better than you. All right, now what's next? I'm getting bored of being here. That's the point. You need to suffer. I was also on guard when he finished his request, as I knew he was going to hit me with a new challenge after another. Say hello to your new friend. Be careful. This one bites. Good luck. Oh, man. I got this. I charged at the beast with my whole camera, and luckily, I had armor to protect me, because every time I would hit it, they would shoot a red beam of damage. Yeah, come here, you crazy. I gave it everything I had and slashed it until they started growing weaker. Then, once I saw a good opportunity, I went in for the kill. Finally, this beast took forever to defeat. Keep up the good work. Have a good night's rest. On days 94 through 96, I woke up determined to persuade the puppet master to release me. It's time to get out of here. I started demanding for him to let me go, and he quickly changed the topic and hit me with a new challenge. Not today, kid. Now, today you'll face a lot of different monsters. Hopefully one of them will kill you. Please, I beg you. I'm going crazy in here. Just let me leave. Well, if you survive today, then you'll be ready for the last challenge and get your ticket out of the door. Good luck. I was swarmed with hyenas. Ah, I can't handle this right now. The hyenas were fast and had a sharp bite, so I pulled out my whole hammer and knocked some of them out. There's so many. I then pulled out my bow and shot some arrows at them and fired finally killed them with my diamond sword. Take that, you freaks. Just as I finished healing the hyenas, I was attacked by some spider pigs. These spider pigs were horrifying and powerful, so I used my sword to fight against them, but they released some cobwebs that would stick on me while I was trying to hit them. Ah, get your stupid webs away from me, you nasties. Once I finally killed the pigs, my third opponent arrived, a mutant wither skeleton. This beast was huge and had dueling swords, so I I brought out my Artemis bow and shot as many arrows as I could. I almost got him. I just gotta aim for the head. I then shot a final arrow at him and the skeleton burst into many parts. Finally, Ugh, that was a long battle. Once I destroyed him, I took a moment to breathe after all that chaos. I'm so tired of this. What do I need to prove to you? For now, Sleep tight. You'll be needing it for the big day tomorrow. As much as I dreaded another day here, I was ready to finish the last puzzle and escape this prison. So I headed to bed and fell asleep for the night.
On days 97 through 98, the Puppet Master announced that this would be my last puzzle inside of his prison. I'm 1000% sure you won't be able to complete this one. <laughs> it's my toughest maze I've ever created. Oh really? We'll see about that. I began going through the maze and felt myself getting lost right away as it was a weird pattern that felt never ending. Wait a minute, he never said I couldn't use my tools. I then pulled out my diamond pickaxe and started mining my way to the center where the end would be. Whoa, this is working. I'm almost there. Once I reached the center of the maze, I made my way up to the puppet master who was waiting there for me. I'm impressed, Rosso. So impressed. I'll just let you live for two more days, that is. On day 99, the puppet master finally told me that it was one of my last days here. Well, this is it, Bronzo. After this day, you will die. Is there any message you would like to say? I knew exactly what to say to him. After all, this was my last day alive, so I told him the truth. You know, the only thing I really want before I go is for you to do me a favor. Sure, what is it? Go tell everyone to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so they never miss another video. Well, that was sad. I can tell you really care about your people. You know, I don't have a soft spot, but that really hit me. I'm gonna go grab some grub. Be right back. As soon as the coast was clear, I started plotting on how to escape the prison by searching every corner of the base. There has to be a secret exit somewhere around here. I then came up with a brilliant idea and waited for the night, observing the puppet master as he walked away from his window. It's showtime. On day 100, I woke up super early in the morning and began towering up the Puppet Master's room. I need to hurry before he wakes up. Once I added enough blocks for me to reach his room, I broke the glass and went inside. Hey, loser. Just then, he woke up shocked from his slumber and jumped out of his bed. What? How did you get in here? Ha! Huh, I'm not going to tell you my secrets. He then looked at the glass and saw how I planned my attack. Sneaky, sneaky. I outsmarted you. Honestly, thanks to all your stupid puzzles, I gained an IQ of over 9,000. No, that's impossible. I then pulled out my sword and got ready to go in for the kill. This is for all the pain you put me through. Ah! Ah! I killed him! Wait, what's this? Self-destruct? Do not flip. There's no way this actually works. I then ran out of the prison before the entire place blew up. <laughs>